Alrighty, really good update. As you can see, the screen is kind of shitty at these big hours, but art of fighting. Why is that good news? This is my four slot, all resurrected. As you can see, I was testing out my headphones as well. I don't know why you about to hear that, but works. Beautiful. So one headphone slot works. I was making a video last night and I was doing some stuff and I ran out of space on my memory card. Um, one of the headphone slots died a very terrible and painful death and the other one's on its way out. So I have to buy two new headphone jacks. It isn't a big, big deal, but I can't do it in the middle of a game, can I? Let me reset this for you. There are some seriously funky things with the wiring and this thing. I'm pretty sure there's a, a frayed wire or something on the speakers. Like now. There's no sound. Of course. Anyway. So yeah. Pop in a coin. Game select. Game select. All four slots work. I mean, that's just fucking brilliant. Which one is the best intro music? Talk over. Sorry. Hang on, let's just... Real test of the sounds on this one, you start... Dr. R. Muckley, an ex-U.S. Army scientist, has been kidnapped by possible Northside terrorists. And taken to Nam's back woods. So the sound sounds really nice. Uh, EL panel doesn't seem to not. I'm gonna take that back. It does seem to work. Go up the Yon River to descend yeah. enemy guard. I think I have to wait 30 seconds before I can switch game. But it looks like that's working too, which is brilliant. Oh, sorry. I put in at the EL bit with that. Let me change your douchebag. Let's see if I can friggin... How the fuck do I go back? Still can't figure this shit out. Honestly, that's pissing me off now. Maybe there's something wrong with the board, or I'm just a fucking idiot. Hopefully I'm just an idiot, because... You know, actually, I hope I'm not an idiot, because I'd feel really stupid. Let's turn it back off again. Do we have sound this time? No. Maybe there's something with the board. I don't know. What are they doing? I'm right, checking out the EL panel. It looks like everything except for the first one works. You can see that? And the first one doesn't work. That's good news though. Cool. Cool beans, as Stephen would say. But, um, it's off. I think there might be a cold solder joint in the monitor because before it was doing some really weird shit. Um, sorry about the fuzziness. Um, yeah, it was going really fuzzy and shit, but it started working after I left it on for a little while. It's making weird noises and oh, I don't know, but yeah, I started taking this apart. Took the memory card reader out. This cord is disgusting. I touched it last night by accident. My hands were just black. Have a look at this. I mean, it's not great. It's where the fan was, though. That's why it's so gunky. So I'm going to have to take all this apart. But, yeah. Fucking brilliant news here. Got my four slot working. And, to explain what it was, the battery had corroded a little bit. And, I mean, the littlest of little bit. And it took one of the resistors out. Just one. Of course, I had a million of them are lying about so I took it out put it in and I switched out the uni bias at the same time and fired right on I was fucking happy I was really frustrated for a while because I wasn't working on my super gun but I'm gonna guess that my super gun doesn't supply enough power to power this monster so that works uh, cab works sound works most of the time 
three quarters of the EL panel works. Um, I have to figure out how to take that off. Looks like some screws in the side here. Yeah, cool, cool bananas. I'm quite happy about that. I thought I'd give you another update on this. Uh, I also fixed the voltage regulator over sitting over here actually. Took it to bits and I gave it a little bit of a clean as well. And yeah, oh, it's still a bit loose actually. That's the way it's meant to be. I don't know. Anywho, um, yeah, you can see the extent of the grime on this thing, it's just disgusting. This kind of stuff, I'm going to give it a nice good scrub. Um, the speaker grills over here. Look at this memory card thing. It's just caked in shit. I found this in the cabinet. I have no idea what it's for, but it was sitting in there. I found so much. Like, if you have a look at the back, I know I'm just ranting and raving now, but there's like chewing gun wrappers and all this other shit back here. I found $2.20 in the back. Now, as far as I know, this guy had bought this from the beginning. The guy who owned this, and it was the only home use. And he used to t open it up and hit the service switch to get coins. So I don't know what the fuck he did with that. Do we have anything else to say? No, I don't think so. But yeah, this is cool. Quite, quite happy. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. I might take it apart some more. I'm going to end up, I think, I'm going to try to wash the um, cover, but it's pretty rusted. I'll try to clean it up. If it doesn't clean up, I might uh, go back with it with a wire brush and like paint it black or something and give it a nice black powder coat. Uh, make it look a bit nicer. Gonna take the EL panel apart now and try to fix that first slot. Hopefully it's just the wiring. That was a bit loose. I'm gonna quickly try it again while I have you on camera. Because that'll make me happy. Although I doubt that's it. Hey! Alright. I think there's something wrong with the cart connector. I think they need to be uh, tightened. Which is not great. Maybe because I hit it, I don't like it anymore. I don't know if you can hear it, the weird sound coming from it. Either way. It's on three? coin. Four. Two. Slot one stopped working again. So yeah, this thing is very finicky. It doesn't like working after time. Once again, probably because I hit it. Um, it definitely needs a lot of work done to it. Oh, see. I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I'm going to stop wasting your time, that's just eight and a half minutes. I've, I made a couple of videos yesterday, I haven't put them up yet, I might join them up with this. Or I might make a couple of more firsts, a couple of more, a couple more. I English, but good. Um, I'll see how I go anyway. Uh, anyway, good news, full slot is mostly working. I might go try it in my Astro, see if that helps it any bit. And yeah, um, hope you're having a good day. Just I'll see you later. Uh, with that stereo sound, it sounds fucking weird. Anyway, let's see if I can make this. Okay, test buttons. Test buttons in a different place, isn't it? Ah, oh, that's because I knocked the cart. <laughs> it's uh, sitting on the floor in front of me. So this is in my Astro. It looks really nice on the Astro. It's got a really massive ass screen and it's degals nicely. It's got some little degals button in the Astro, which I fucking love. I chose the wrong time to demonstrate it, because the screen was black, but... See what I mean? I touch the cart and the sound... I'm sorry, and the sound starts up again. What's this? The Professional Baseball Stars... Baseball Stars Professional, my god. I like a bit of baseball. Make selection versus. Fuck off. I'm gonna be that one. 
Cosmic Astro Boys. SNK's Dome or SNK Stadium? The sound just died on it. So I really got a um, service to connectors. I think that'll fix most of the problems I'm having. Ah, oh, thanks, mate. Don't even bother swinging again. Go. And out. So I'm no good at baseball. Fucking sue me. There's no sound. I'm going to guess it's something to do with the cart. Yeah, see. Car can look, they're so bloody loose, you just, you wiggle, I'm, I'm barely even touching it, look, it's just, and it's just fucking up, so I'll be re repairing the car connectors, you can do the same thing, if, it's kind of an off the cuss video with this one, but, if you have an NES with the same kind of, you know, that flashing issue, at the start, you have to blow in your cart or whatever, it's not, nothing to do with the cart most of the time, it's usually the connectors, the pins are like this, Oh, why am I? I won't make another video on that. But you can repair the cart connectors on an NES the same as you can repair it on this or any other cart-based system. You just push them closer together, the the two sides. That's what I'm gonna do with all. Oh, fucking, it'll be like 500 pins or something, if not more. I don't know how many pins are on a cart, but there's two boards, two sides, and they're pretty big carts, so that's gonna be fun. Um, another project I'm doing. You can't really see it too well. I'm gonna turn on my cabinet actually. This is uh, stuck. That's what it is. Uh, okay. NBA Jam. How many ROMs are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eighteen. And these are sound ROMs. Twenty-one. Yeah, I thought I was right. Sorry. Uh, talking to myself again. I'm going to be upgrading this to a Tournament Edition version 2 board. Main difference being you can play as the Mortal Kombat characters, which is going to be fucking awesome. So I'll be doing that. Um, yeah. One suggestion I will make, and this is once again nothing to do with the Neo Cab, but it'll probably go into the same video. If you have NBA Jam, don't set your cab to 2 player. Set it to 4 player. Because, well, at least in my opinion, I want to play... The reason I got this, me and my brother play it. I can't, you can't play co-op if the, the cab is set to two players, which is one of these dip switches here. <sighs> so yeah, um, I'll be upgrading this to a tournament edition board. I might do that now. What time is it? Eight o'clock. Oh, that's a bit late. I have to check my email while I'm on camera with you. Nothing interesting. Yeah, um, so this, I'm going to fix the pins. I gotta dig out the screen, I gotta find that wiring problem in the sound, because it sounds fucking stupid. But yeah. Astro. Alright. I'm gonna go shower and go to bed. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I will be uploading this tomorrow, I've decided. Yeah. Good times. Another thing I've noticed, and I'm just sort of fucking ranting really badly now. I, I watch a lot of videos like this on YouTube, collection videos and repair videos. Like people like Luke Morse, the Happy Console Gamer, TV and Lust. If you haven't heard of those and you're listening to me, go watch them first. They're a lot better than I'll ever be. They have their own sign-offs. <laughs> Every time I make a video, I almost use one of theirs when I just kind of say whatever comes out of my mouth. Like, uh, until next time, Happy Console Gamer is kind of generic, but it's his. So I don't have a sign-off. Just see you later, guys.